O'Shea Duke Jackson channel, man. Welcome here to the show, guys. For if you're a new subscriber of mine, welcome to the channel. If you're doing on the restreaming audience, definitely welcome to the channel. You know, I do a lot of good content uh, for men in general, black men in particular. And today we have an awesome topic, man. We're here with the dating coach extraordinaire, uh, Steve Dean Williams. And we're going to be talking about um, something a little interesting that guys have a debate about the text messaging and video messaging debate. Can I win with texting, video calling things? Because you know brothers be doing it all the time, man. Niggas be in the DMs. They do the text messaging. But can guys actually win like this before the dates? We're here with Steve the Dean Williams and the manmindset.com. Go ahead, Steve, brother. Thank you for coming on to the show. Go ahead and introduce yourself a little bit, brother. Thanks for having me on. Steve Dean Williams and manmindset.com. We teach guys everything under the sun as far as manhood and women. Manhood and women. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Steve, I know we talked about this before, right? But a lot of people um, think that text messaging should only be used. A lot of guys, and you know, a lot of guys talk about this. Text messaging should only be used to basically confirm a date, <laughs> right? And a lot of guys in the in the red pill um, markets kind of agree or disagree on this. Uh, what's your stance on that, brother? Well, the, the a lot of guys who tell you to just set up the date are a lot of motherfuckers who don't have any game enough to talk to these motherfucking women. Uh oh, because if you think about it, are you that are you are y'all motherfuckers that naive to think that you can just set up a you you are right, you meet or you text her a date and then you wait what three or four days or four or five days not to talk to her because you have nothing to talk about. And then you expect her to be interested in you, O'Shea. Mm -hmm. Texting, texting, uh, well, texting or okay, let's just say communication between the man and the woman, whether it's a, a text message or a phone call. All right, that's how mm -hmm. he is. It's either a text message or a phone call. That's when the game begins. Mm -hmm. The game doesn't begin when you walk up and talk to her, and the game doesn't begin when you're sitting in front of her at fucking dinner, like you dumb motherfuckers take these women out to dinner, but. <laughs> <laughs> like but, I'm about to do. No, yeah, no. well, you tricking them. But the game, uh, but the game begins is how you communicate to the woman to show her the difference between you and all the other options that she has. If she's going to invest herself into you, she needs to make sure, like any fucking smart person, is she getting a return on your investment? And the thing that men that that tell you that cake ass shit just set up a message. That's why y'all ain't got pussy right now, because all y'all doing is following motherfuckers that's teaching you two plus two is five, and it's not. Two plus two is basically for saying that if you think it, you should be able to say it, and you should be able to text it. So if that's the case, O'Shea, why would I? meet somebody, set up a date, and not talk to her fucking ass until we go out on a date. All right, so let, let me, let's talk about this. Okay, hold on, you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay, so Steve, Give me a situation because, all right, a lot of niggas also do, you know, in the DMs, right? But the text messaging thing, how do you set up a good text message or instant message conversation leading up to a potential like, you know, not even a date, come over, um, that's not let me. That's not happening. Well, that's you said what now? That's not happening. That's porn. That's 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 the that's the false thing that guys teach these guys. Oh, 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 oh. let's talk about that. That's not happening. Why that's, is it not happening? Because porn is not reality. A lot of these guys are again. They got this two plus two is five thinking that they have no game. They don't know how to talk to women. They don't know how to approach women. They don't know what to say to women. 
They don't know how to date women. They don't have to do nothing with women. But they expect as soon as they talk to a woman, the music is going to come on and she going to want to have them come over to fuck. Really? No, that, that ain't happening. Joe. That's not that's not that's not reality, man. But again, when you are when you want to live in a false reality, that's going to be your reality thinking that she wants you to come over to fuck her. And that's not the case because most of these guys, unfortunately, think that women think like us and they don't think like us. Oh, OK, well, let me ask you this. Like, OK, well, well let's talk about the, the possibility of one night stands. OK, is that does that actually happen in your opinion? You should, should oh, guys shoot? Yes, that, that happens. That ha that happens a lot. And the reason that it happens is because. Like I told you before, most men think women are stupid. Women are smarter than most men, and I hate to say that shit. You know how I am. I, I hate to say that. Most women are more smarter, colder, and more calculated than most men out there, okay? And because of that, they already can decipher what the fuck you are before you even walk up to her. She already knows your whole story before you walk up to her. And when you walk up to her and all you're doing is playing checkers to her chest, mm -hmm. he's not going to want to sleep with you. The only guy that she wants to sleep with is the guy that's assertive, mm -hmm. the guy that shows no fear, the mm -hmm. guy that can stand on his own principles, laws, rules, codes, narratives, the guy that can walk up to a woman and, and let her know, not necessarily, I want to fuck you, but he's more like, what, who the fuck are you and why? Should you, why should I allow you the dick? That kind of guy intrigues her. She mm -hmm. knows she has her choices and options of any guy she wants to drive her around, put up her Halloween lights, feed her, give her drinks. She's already got those options. She's already got that on lock. And okay. sometimes she's, sometimes she's willing to find a new guy to take someone out. You know, this new guy, you know what? He can probably uh, buy me more gifts and stuff. So they allow these guys in. But they're not fucking these guys because these guys it, it, is these guys come off so scared. Mm -hmm. Women, women, uh, and it is woven in their they're woven in their emotions and their DNA to want to submit to a real motherfucking man. You mm -hmm. take my, I mean, lions, bees, cats, dogs, uh, goddamn squirrels. It doesn't matter what it is. They want to sleep with the man, the male, the top guy. So okay. yeah. There are one night stands. There are those. Yes. Okay. So Steve, let me, let's talk about this because how can a person be assertive? Like most guys and shout yourself out in the chat. If you go and still approach women, let's get a count in the chat. Press one. If you're restreaming it, press one. What guys still go out and approach women? I guess what I want to know is from what brothers out there think that their actual approach in person is better than online because some guys, Steve, um, are more old school with the approach. Like they know how to walk up to women and talk and their personality, but that personality shots my, my, my OG row flex in the building. That personality might not necessarily go through the iPhone or it might not go through, um, the other situation. Wait, 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 let me show this. Uh, shout out to the brother. I'll read this in a minute. Thank you, brother Clay pro. It, how it will, do it will go through. It will go through. It will go through. Okay, because 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 some guys, some guys have an issue, have a problem with that, Steve. Where like me, I'm a person where my personality is is more better in person than it no. is over the phone. Well, okay, but but uh, but O'Shea, it's no okay. This is where this is where the problem is for a lot of guys to to run on and use that as an excuse. The way you are is the way you are, meaning I don't care if it's on the phone, I don't care if it's a message. I don't care if it's face to face or I put a note on a fucking dove. It's always going to come off the same way. Now, I'll give you an example. I have one okay. of my one of my students uh, this week. He was on the show. Uh, he met this bad bitch. This bitch is bad as fuck. Uh, he messaged her the way we show guys how to message women. And six days later, she's not only buying him a plane ticket, but she's paying for a hotel for him to come over so she can fuck him because he's she's flying him to New York on her dime plane ticket and all that and it started from just inter it's just introducing yourself 
How yeah. you doing? My name is O'Shea. I just want to introduce myself to you. How are you doing? It's no different from meeting her face to face. It's no different. Mm -hmm. But what you got to understand is you're dealing with somebody that's going to do background checks on you. As soon as you go in a chat, let's say Facebook or something, and you say hi to her, mm -hmm. she's going to go back and look at your profile. Are you exciting? Or do you bitch? Is your pussy tighter than hers? You know, I always say a woman doesn't want to fuck with no no dude whose pussy's tighter than hers. She's going to look at those things. She's going to do her background and research because she's not going to invest any of her time or pussy in a thirsty motherfucker. And, and that's just the truth, big dog. Shout out to Dr. Tony Davis, $49.99. That's two. Who say black men don't support? It's not true. Thank you, brothers, man. I talk a lot of shit about you niggas, but y'all, y'all know I love you. Thank you for supporting and being here. Okay, so Steve, let's let's transfer here because I know that you have courses on this, but um, a lot of guys also do this, right? Because a lot of times when you be on uh, online or on a, or on like a WhatsApp or text messaging. Some guys feel a little bit more comfortable saying things on that platform than in, in than than in your face. Okay. Right. Okay. So some guys might be a little bit reckless. So I know that you also have a certain rule of approaching all yeah. women with a level a certain level of decorum. Yeah. Um, okay. Because some guys might be a little bit more risky, but your approach is a little bit more conservative. Let's talk about Steve the Dean's overall approach and well, and, and how you how you approach women. Well, okay, let, let's let's go online for guys that's online. It's not just your approach. Now, again, if you're on a dating app, like if you're on Tinder or mm -hmm. you're on um, Plenty of Fish or Match.com and just any kind of dating app, okay, it's not the it's not your hello that's going to win you over. It's your profile setup that's going to win you or make or break you. Every guy, every woman is going to see a guy saying hi to her. She says, okay, you know, all right, this is such and such. So let me go back and let me read his profile. And if your profile is so fucking boring and vanilla, hi, my name is Devonte. I like to hang out with my friends. I like to watch the sunset. I like to go fishing. I mm -hmm. like to look for, I mean, what the fuck is she, want? why would she want to be with somebody like that? Because mm -hmm. I, and, and the thing is, O'Shea, it's before you before you even think about understanding the setup of the dating profile, mm -hmm. you've got to know your competitor. You've got to know your challenger. You got to know who the person you're going against. Okay. And that's the biggest problem with these guys. Because yes, there are women out there that love sex, O'Shea. And there are whores out there, and yes, there's sluts out there. But guess what, O'Shea? There are undercover whores and undercover sluts and stuff like that. And that's the kind of woman that holds that little kitty cat, turns her head to the side, all that other silly shit, and mm -hmm. she talks about I'm a good girl and all that other stuff, mm -hmm. where she has whore inside of her. But the thing about all these women is that they're not going to give that part just to anybody. They don't fuck with thirst. Well, look, they fuck with thirst. But they use thirst. Mm -hmm. And that's what you got to understand. You got to understand your opponent. And that's the problem with these guys. They think all women. See, they got this mindset because we love physical things and women, you know, ass, titties and all the other stuff. Mm -hmm. We are under the assumption that women are the same way, too. And that's not true. Now, don't get me wrong. Women like different things. Some women like um, uh, guts. Some women like thin guys. Some women like guys with muscles. You know what I mean? And even that Ghana chick, she like your motherfucking ass. I don't know why, but she do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, but I'm just saying, but every but women have different tastes. So we got to take that out the equation. What we got to look at is they don't see us the way we see them. They are more on an emotional level. It's how you can tweak and make them feel. That's why I always tell guys, I want to give them the drug of man, M-A-N. Okay. And it can be liquid form. You can drink it. You can put it on your tongue. You can <laughs> snort it. You can smoke it. You can put it in. Uh, you can put it in a wrapper and light it up. You can put it in okay. a glass vase and smoke it. Once you get the drug of man, then that's when the whole thing changes. Then when that happens, 
She's mm-hmm. going to want to know more about you. So the, the problem is, O'Shea, mm-hmm. I would love to, to tell you about the dating thing, but mm-hmm. the problem is it's not the dating thing and actually what you per, per give to the woman. Mm-hmm. It's when, like you say, going back to the text message, mm-hmm. it's looking behind the curtain and seeing who's pulling the strings. That's mm-hmm. what they're looking for because so many of these guys portray, pretend, mm-hmm that they know the game or they a man and they got women and they got options. And mm-hmm. when, as soon as they get around a woman, they motherfucking mush. So mm-hmm. it, it doesn't necessarily mean what you say, because mm-hmm. you can say just about anything. You know, there are people out there tell you to say, say some awful shit. I mean, outlandish, crazy shit, and it will work. But the reason it works is because the person behind the word, if you can say, let's go fuck. People can do that, but it's the person saying it. Where are his receipts? Why is he so arrogant? Can he back up that type of attitude? So it's not just the how you say it, O'Shea, because I could tell you how to approach a woman, but Mm -hmm. if you're scared of motherfucking women, it ain't going to work. It's just like the movie It, uh, like with that fucking clown. I always tell guys. What they don't understand is you are you are creating and giving power to this woman mm-hmm. based off of your fear. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't matter what you say. You can send as many dick pictures as you want. You can spend as much money as you want. You can buy as many drinks as you want. You can beg and plead. If she, again, O'Shea, if she knows that your pussy is tighter than hers, she ain't fucking with you, O'Shea. Mm-hmm. Period. Mm-hmm. Again, shout out to brother Clay. Probably read that in a minute, and brother Tony Davis. Let me um, uh, basically let me do this. Uh, all right, Steve. Let's let's transition. Yes, sir. Let's talk about the situation because we know. Um, I, I think we need to address the whole social media profile thing on a on a separate show. That'd be a good topic. Um, but let's say, for example, most brothers. Let's say if you meet a woman in person. Yes. And then most people, and I know that you're different from almost every dating coach in the fact that you don't believe really in asking for a phone woman's phone number. Never, never. You want a woman to take your number. Right. But, but the only way I will take her number is after I offer mine. After I I will always offer mine first, regardless, always mine first. Okay. So if she offers, so if you, if you take her number after you offer her yours first, will you ever Message her, or will you wait for her to message you? Yeah, well, well, how can she message me when she ain't when she ain't got my number? See, this is what I'm saying. Okay, look, after I offer my my number, she doesn't take it, and she's like, take my number, whatever, right? Mm-hmm. When I'm ready to talk, when I'm ready to message, see, this is this is the, this is the second problem with guys. Mm-hmm. See, back in the I don't know, maybe it was the '90s or something, or early 2000s. I think they came out with a book called The Rules for Women telling these bitches that, you know, wait 10 days and 14 hours to talk to a motherfucker and all this other shit. So what some of these guys have done is they went to these other guys say, well, you get a woman's number or something like that. Don't just hit her off the bat, man. You don't want to seem desperate and needy, man. You want to wait like a fucking week and a half or some stupid ass shit that they be coming up with. When I want to talk to you, I'm going to message you. This is Steve. We met here. When you're free, get back at me. And I'm going to throw a number away. I'm done with it. I just put, I could, because I, I, I put myself back. I got the high ground again. Mm-hmm. I'm instructing her what to do. And now that she's going to follow my lead or she's not, but after that, I'm done. I'm gone. I'm moving on. I'm not going to mm-hmm. sit around and wait for her to reply. I just put it back out there. See, I always want to end with the high ground. That's why I say I give my number out. But if I take her number and when I'm ready to talk, listen, when I'm re- listen, if you think about her, that means you really want to talk to her. So that means you. And, and here's the thing, O'Shea. It doesn't make me thirsty to want to talk to a woman to present myself to show her why she should be sucking my dick. OK, that doesn't make me thirsty. But see what these guys have done is that they have confused a lot of these men using the word thirsty. Mm-hmm. They got these guys thinking that if you just automatically hit a fucking chick back, you're thirsty. No, that's not thirst. Thirst is when you worship a fucking woman more than you value your own self. That's okay. thirsty. 
it doesn't make you thirsty to want to talk to a woman oh shit so that's that's what i would do i would just i would let her know this is who i am this is where we met and when you get a chance get back at me and i'm done and, and i'm moving on until she hits me back okay 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 uh shout out to young jay i won't lie steve put me on that game i've used it i've never seen i heard him say never ask your number give her your number it works every time shout out to young jay let Respect. me read clay pro's comment brother clay pro he actually said uh something pretty interesting but let me find it here brother clay pro you in the building he says i agree with half your info but the other half is straight foolish you actually think women are smarter than most men lmao thank you brother clay pro, i for you why you that's, that's easy okay why is that okay think about this for a second you don't think you you don't think women don't watch shows like this? You don't think women watch shows that you watch on YouTube and shit, motherfucker? You don't you don't think you 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 actually think that because your weak thirsty ass don't know shit about women, you don't think as soon as you open up your little weak fuck boy ass mouth that she don't realize you got nothing but a bitch inside you and she knows how to run your weak ass before you even open your fucking mouth? What, this is the problem with y'all motherfuckers. I don't like to give women that credit, but the truth is the truth. And if you dumb motherfuckers are biblical, all you biblical church going motherfuckers, then you should know the first fucking bitch fucking uh, was running game on whoever Adam is or whatever the fuck you follow in your Bibles and shit. Throughout, throughout time, Women mm -hmm. have figured out a way to get what they want without giving up any pussy, you dumb motherfucker. Let me give him an example because I know he goes to these buildings. You, you, let me give this dumb motherfucker an example. The example is you take a building and you add a few poles in that building. And guess what? You're going to have a lot of dumb motherfuckers going into that building knowing that they are living a fantasy and they're giving the bitches money. Let me give you another building called a club. The D the, the bar, the owner knows that he's got to pay the bartender, the DJs and the bouncers. So what does he do? Ladies come in free. Why? Cause he know the dumb motherfuckers are going to come in there and buy motherfucking drinks. What the fuck are you talking about? I didn't say all women are smarter than motherfuckers out there but they smarter than most of you dumb motherfuckers and if you can't see that shit then you part of the motherfucking problem listen i don't like to give these motherfuckers credit but i love watching how they run game on you suckers go out tonight go to a restaurant and look at how many women don't have to bring any amount of money you dumb motherfuckers are buying them dinners and buying them drinks and you ain't getting a sniff of pussy who's smarter dumb motherfucker you motherfuckers are buying, giving bills, driving these bitches around, kissing their asses, and doing everything you can to fuck them. And what's going on? They got you on lock. So who's smarter than who, O'Shea? Who's smarter than who? Come on, man. Y'all got motherfuckers got to think. All right, you know me, O'Shea. I ain't trying to get these motherfucking women uh, props and shit. But y'all got to look back and look at y'all. Y'all are so goddamn thirsty. And all y'all do, y'all scared of pussy, number one. But number two, all you dumb motherfuckers, look at y'all. Can't even talk. Let me say, check this out, O'Shea. If, if, if you are smarter than a woman, then why the fuck are you so scared to talk to him? Why are you so afraid to approach him? Why can't you hold, hold your ground to what you say? You want to know why? Because you ain't smarter than a bitch. Because she know you are a bitch. And that's why she ain't fucking with you. Talking that silly ass shit. I'm sorry, O'Shea. Go ahead. Man. <laughs> Shout out to Clay Pro again. He goes, You're married though. Uh, I don't give away. Well, hold on, wait, stop. Well, I mean, is that doesn't matter what the fuck I am. Why don't you go to Yakology and see 50? I already got, I could, hey, with the ring, motherfucker, I pulled 50 women in under 20 minutes. What's your fucking, what's, what's your excuse? And I got a ring, motherfucker. But see, this is the problem with you weak, bitch made motherfuckers. Because guess what? Married a single, I can get more pussy on my fingertip than your dumb motherfucking ass. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> you married. Man, y'all motherfuckers here, boy. Y'all got to be. You, the got more, you got more game to them, Steve? 
Dude, come on, look at it. Listen to the motherfucker. Look, look. What motherfucking man do you know is gonna be like, hey, well, you're married? I mean, come on, really? That's how men talk nowadays. That's how y'all talk. You can always tell a motherfucker ain't got no game. So what? I got a ring on my finger. That means I can't pull motherfucking bitches. If you listen to my show, you know I could pull easily, easily. Cupcake ass motherfuckers. <laughs> Steve, let me let me ask you this. Um. Okay. So let's say she responds back to you, all right? Yeah. Then, because a lot of guys get lost in the sauce. I know for me, one of the things I used to have problems with is she'll respond back with something short, and I'll respond back. Like, I'll be like, hey, you know, this is... She's not interested. Oh, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you, let me tell you, this is what I used to do. Oh, obviously she wasn't interested, because, I, I, you know, I got blocks, like, right after. But... You know, that's when I was in my um George making days. Um, uh, shout out to my boy George, man. He he he's the he gets crucified every show. But okay, so this is what the message would be like, Steve. And guys, if you've done this, let me know because we're gonna let D Steve is a dating dating guy. Okay, you send a message. Hey, my name is uh Red Sox fan, E Man Perry. Hold on, I know this nigga. He sent this message because look at these glasses he got on. I know he, oh boy, he got them, uh, he got them, uh, them Chippendale, the, 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 that's some CHP, uh, California Highway Patrol shades, nigga. So, um, so you hit the center message, hey, you know, this is a uh, E Man from, uh, from, you know, Leroy's uh, Pork Chops and Ribs. You know, I saw you there today and, um, you know, hit me back, right? Mm -hmm. So the girl goes, oh, hey, how, what's up? How are you? And this is my problem, right? I'll be like, oh my God, I'm so good. I'm fine. And everything. Everything was good. I went to church. I went to the uh store. I went to Walmart. And uh man, I just went like, you know what I mean? I went everywhere. Me and Dr. Dick and Eric P went and uh we 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 played 21 and, and, did, and did the finger roll contest. Me and Casper went to the uh mulatto uh shop, got some light skin cream. I mean, like a lot of niggas that the girl responds. Then you, you niggas know how this shit go. Mo facts. A shout out to Clay Pro, right? You, I'm gonna read it again. You, the lady texts back interest, and then you, and you, and then you regurgitate a whole bunch of. Brrr, you know what I'm saying? Because you throwing shit. See, and then y'all yeah, try, to try to say women are stupid, right? She always remember, always remember this about women. Let me educate those that want to learn about your opponent, and I'm gonna connect what you're saying, O'Shea. As soon as you open your mouth and as soon as you make a statement, okay, a woman is going to do something in the snap of a finger. She's going to do what I call go in the future, go to the past and back into the present. Okay. Meaning that based off of what you say, she has met you before. And that's mm -hmm. what a lot of guys don't understand. And this is what makes her a very formidable opponent because she knows you. How does she know you based off your mannerisms and based off what you say? So that's the future. Now what she does is she goes back into the past and think about what is what is a relationship like or what would it be like with someone that's throwing shit up on the wall and talking about a bunch of stupid ass shit that has nothing to do with the two of you getting together. Mm -hmm. Insecure, not assertive, mm -hmm. has no backbone. Mm -hmm. he's a victim he's mm -hmm. attached to mommy he's weird he's creepy but but guess what even though i'm not interested in him i can find a place for him mm -hmm. i can now the question is where do i want to use him at because okay. i got like three quarterbacks two running backs wide receivers in football now G. I, i'm trying to figure out where can i place him so do I want to place him on the drive me around crew? Do okay. I want to place him on the buy me a dinner crew? Do I want to play? Where do I want to put him at? But he ain't getting no pussy. Now okay. I'll send him a selfie. I'll touch him. Mm -hmm. I may give him the thought that he's going to get it, but mm -hmm. he is not good enough and he's a waste of my time. So the only thing I'm going to get out of him is mm -hmm. money. And that's why they smart in this game. Because okay. as soon as you say what you said, O'Shea, mm -hmm. she knows that a real motherfucker that has confidence, and here's the cute thing, a motherfucker that has options, O'Shea, 
A mm-hmm. man that has pussy or can get women will never say what you said. That okay. Come up. No, that's not, that's that shit that George making me doing, man. I don't. This is what George be doing. The, the shit that you know. That's that's a George. Okay, so Steve, so so I don't so I don't do that. That and, and guys, press one if you've ever done that before. You niggas gotta stop lying. That shit that I said that I did. All of you niggas have done that. Yes. A female absolutely. respond. You like? Oh my gosh, she texted me back. And then you just boom, 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 boom. you 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 press one if you have been a nigga like that. Some of you niggas still do it every now and then. Don't lie. Go ahead. Oh, Steve. oh Shay, well, I want to say something about that, and I'm gonna tell you why. Real motherfuckers love you guys. Real motherfuckers love. I'm gonna tell you what, what you said, O'Shea. Do you ever wonder why real motherfuckers don't tell y'all like to stop doing the silly shit y'all doing? Because y'all, what y'all understand how the game work is that. When you know the game and you know what you're doing and you're talking to a woman, you meet a woman, I always tell my guys, and I've been always telling this, this thing since I've been doing the Pussy Whip show since like the mid, late 90s, 2000, that you drop seeds, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And when you drop a seed in her head, mm-hmm. I don't water and give the seed light. You give the seed water and light because mm-hmm. of the silly shit you say. When that shit you said, all you were doing is getting your rake and your garden hose, and you were you were watering my seed and you were giving it sunlight. You want to know why? Because what the women do is they come to us with the goofy shit y'all say, okay. and we both laughing at your motherfucking ass. She's okay. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. But let me, but Steve, before you roast them up, uh, I'm not roasting. I'm just being honest. But, but let me ask you this though: we know we fucked up there. But how, what's the proper way? So instead of, okay, you send a message, right? And let's say, because most chicks, you know, you get a chick phone number. It goes good. She might seem interested. You send a text message. Then sometimes they don't text back at all. They might text back like four or five hours later. But sometimes they might text back real fast. Like, oh, hey, what's up? So obviously she's showing some sort of interest because she texts back, especially if it's within like five minutes. Well, interest is not attraction. Interest okay. is not attraction. Interest, oh, so, interest is interest. Attraction okay. attraction. Okay, so, what's the difference? What's the difference between interest and traction? attraction? Okay, what, what guys got to understand there are three guys get your crayons out. There are three modes when it comes to a woman. There is there is the curiosity, attention, and attraction. Those are three phases. Every man starts on the phase of getting her curiosity or or getting her interest, okay? And it is what you do that's either going to sway you towards attraction or attention or it's going to sway you to, I don't even want to fuck with this guy. Okay. So you Just because you have her interest doesn't mean she likes you. What do you mean? Excuse me. She may like you, but here's the thing, O'Shea. Mm -hmm. Most guys are going for likes. See, the shit you saying that you just said, O'Shea, sounds like a guy that's walking on eggshells, has mm-hmm. no idea what the fuck he wants, and yeah. he wants to, to, to say things to make her like him. Okay. See, uh, when I, right, so when I teach you approaching, I'm setting up the date when I first meet her. I'm just reinforcing it when we begin talking. So within the, mm. first, within the three, okay, see... The way I, we already talked about our approach already, but what I'm saying is, when, when she calls me or we get or we get in touch with each other, okay, within the first three messages, I'm already setting up the date of the time and the place because I don't want to waste my time. Where a lot of guys don't even do that shit; they just keep trying to throw shit up on the wall, hoping that maybe if the sun, moon, and stars line up. Oh, she's going to like me. Shit don't work that way. Not in the real motherfucking world. Maybe in porn, but not in the Mm -hmm. real world. It don't work that way. So just because she's interested in you, sure. You know what? Maybe you look good. Mm -hmm. Maybe you dress well. Mm -hmm. Maybe you got a nice car. That Mm -hmm. piques her interest. Mm -hmm. But as soon as you open your motherfucking mouth or your Mm -hmm. fingers, Mm because what you think is the way you text, she automatically knows what you are. Okay. She knows what you are, and she knows how to get you in checkmate before you even open your motherfucking mouth. And that's what I'm trying to tell these dumb motherfuckers. 
See that y'all don't want. Hey, listen, I'm not saying women are like all the way smarter than men when it comes to like man shit. I'm saying when it comes to this dating game, they're smarter because they know how to beat your pedo to their Pinocchio, sir. Okay. So let me let me do this. Shout out to Clay Pro. I will read that. He said, Do you have any advice on how to be a good husband? But let me before we answer that, guys, listen. Why don't you start to change this uh community up? Do up, J Dub. I want you people to start saying hello to each other in the chat. Starting to get some ladies in here, some brothers in here. You know, guys, take the time to speak to each other. You know what I mean? Make this a little bit more of a fuckery friendly environment. Shout out to Mike, Derek, J Dub, Casper. Sister oh. George in the building. Oh, sure. Uh, yes. Ladies in the room and look at these motherfuckers. They ain't even saying nothing to the women. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You got, you got women in the room and y'all can't even speak to the ladies. <laughs> look, sorry, look, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So guys, you know, uh, you know, hello to everyone. It's young Link, whatever. Hello. What else up, John Paul? Can you What's guys up, talk man? to each other, man? This is this is the Banosphere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We What's up, girl? In here. What up, how y'all ladies, go? ladies doing? How y'all ladies? Yeah, what up, to everybody? Okay, let's let let's, let me ask you, Steve. All right. Yeah. So then, listen. Here's my question I have for you, because I don't want to be like like this nigga right here. I don't want to be like him, because this this guy don't have no game. Okay, he's always getting shot down. Okay. You don't want to be like him. He he actually like loves your show though. All right, George. He, okay, I look at George. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but but he don't have no game though. He's like, man, that boy, that I got Steve the Dean, man. He be he be man. I'm telling you, man, that brother, man, know they talking about me. You gotta have him on my, but he but he don't. He think he know he's talking about. He don't know what he's talking about. But yeah. all right, yeah. let's say if you like this guy, okay. nice nice son, but the guy, the older guy, okay, is terrible. Okay. okay, so I regurgitated all that stuff, but you said something important. I don't think these guys caught that. You met her. You had an intention. Your intention was, I approached you because I want to, this is my interest. I like to hang out with you, do this. Yeah, and yeah. when you talk to her, you're just using the text message. You're not asking her about what she did today, what's going on. You're going back initially to, this is why I spoke to you. You're just building on the initial thing from the beginning. I don't even know what she did. Oh, oh shit, let me tell you how deep it is. I don't even give a fuck what she did today. Because I'm not going to interview her. That's another. Free. Why do y'all motherfuckers? Are, well, what are you doing today? And when was your last boyfriend? And what are you looking for in a guy? And what cut? Why do y'all do that shit? They, O'Shea. Now think about this, O'Shea. Let, let's. All right. Let me again. Let me show y'all how crafty these women are. Check this out, O'Shea. Mm -hmm. Now think about this. Let's take an average woman. Okay, an average woman. How many guys do you think are trying to fuck an average woman? Or how many motherfuckers trying to get at it? Will you say probably maybe, I'm just saying, maybe let's say about maybe a thousand. Let's just say a thousand on an average one, okay? The prettier she is, the more numbers she has, the more banks. I call them banks. She's got more banks. So she has heard it all. What are you doing today? What are you up to? And all this other stuff. But the mm -hmm. one thing you know that she doesn't hear is a motherfucker that tells her what the fuck is. Look, mm -hmm. what, hey, what, what, who are you and what separate? What I'm trying to figure out is this. This is what I'm trying to figure out with Shay. Mm -hmm. And this is what I teach my clients. This is how it's always been. This is the even, hey, even without the ring, motherfucker. This is how it's mm -hmm. always been like. It's always been this way with a real motherfucker. This shit ain't about you. It has never been about you. I have options. I got other women. So what I'm trying to figure out is two things. Where do you fit at on my roster? Number one. Mm -hmm. And number two, what I got to figure out is, yeah, you fine. You got a nice ass. You sexy as fuck. But does your personality and your character equal your looks? Because I don't, I can, mm. I don't need your pussy. I don't need your body. And that's why I keep trying to tell these motherfuckers. I'm not trying. I don't need to fuck. Because like I said, mm -hmm. I'm doing it on a mental level. But that's, that's a whole different level. But what I'm saying is this. When I'm talking to you, I'm trying to figure those two things out. I'm not trying. I don't give a fuck about your day. And mm -hmm. what did you do with Fred and Barney and how is fucking bedrock and all that silly shit these motherfuckers be coming up with? No. I'm trying to figure out, look, 
are you worth my time? You actually will ask her that. Are you worth my time? Well, no, I don't say are you worth my time. I say I don't like wasting my time. I don't. You like tell her that. You goddamn right. I'll tell her. Why not? What? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's back this up. Let's move. Let's let's unring this bill. I got I got to act shock, Steve. Go ahead. Why the fuck would I want to sit around with a woman that just wants to talk to me all damn day, and she ain't even we ain't even trying to hook up to see what we could get into. Why would I sit around with taking, and this is the problem, this is how smart they are. They will give these motherfuckers crumbs. And these motherfuckers are preach. I don't want the crumbs. I want the cake, God damn it. I don't want any crumbs. So if you want to play games, you want to give me one word answers, you don't want to get back at me, fuck you. I, I'm throwing you back in the water because I don't waste my time. And that's my attitude. And that's the difference maker. Because they're not used to a motherfucker that is cocky, arrogant, conceited, and makes shit about himself, brother. Okay, so let me. So also, uh, okay, so that that's a good answer, right? So instead of, you know, she responds with, you send her the text message. She mm -hmm. responds, and then you hit her with, where do you fit? I mean, basically, not like necessarily, you know, are you worth my time? Something like that. No, what separates you? No, it's easy. I look, as, look, and I'm gonna be honest with you, because she's gonna know I when I first meet her, she's gonna know I have women. Why? Because only a motherfucker who get pussy is arrogant enough to say, "Call me." So I'm already in the position. Oh, already, I've already put myself in the position. That's the first level, right? Okay. The second thing that reinforces the position is this. Y'all catch that stand again? That was game, Steve. That was game, Steve. That was actually game. Y'all should pay. Y'all should have paid him for that, though. Hold on, Steve. That was some game. Y'all should have paid him for that. Tell, say it again. Say it again. The reason why I put myself in a high position because only a man that has options and pussy is going to be arrogant enough to tell a fucking woman to call him. That's the first thing. That's, that's game. That's, I ain't gonna that's number that's one. But the game. reinforcement of that is this. That was game. When you pull out your business card with your number on that shit, the next thing she's going to ask you is, why do you have business cards? Well, let me tell you why. Number mm -hmm. one, I'm not a kid anymore, and I don't have time to go around writing my number on a napkin or asking for a pen. Oh, then you know what the next question is going to say? Oh, then you must hand your cards out to a lot of women. You, Of course I do, because I only hand out my cards to women I'm interested in. Why do you think I'm here? Game's already changed right there. Oh, Game's already changed good. right there, because I have the high ground. The oh, reinforcement yeah. of the approach comes in that where the truth, she already knows I have other women. You want to know why? Because the approach is so goddamn solid that if you're doing it right, she's going to ask you, who are you seeing? Or do you have other women? Or what are your intentions are with me? And the simple question is, yes, yes. And what are my intentions with you? I don't know what my intentions are because I don't know you well enough yet. Just because you look good and because you got a sexy body, yeah, that got me over here. But I need to know what's behind that curtain. That's why I'm giving you my number. It is clear, concise, transparent. Mind fucking blown. Because what guy do you know talks that way to women? Zero. So when she calls me up or gets in touch with me, all I'm doing is reinforcing what the conversation we had before. I just want to know what separates you from all the other women. Because mm. the, last thing I know, the last thing I want to do is I don't want to waste your time and I don't want to waste my time. And it, it, it's, it's that easy, clear, concise, transparent, and impactful, but you got to keep that shit 100. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you and I'm not going to make shit up. This is what it is. Either you're going to call, look, call me, okay? No, I, I don't call guys. All right, well, I'll get your number. All right? Cool. I get your number. Tell you to call me. I throw your number away. But when I tell her to call me, it kind of throws them off because they're not used to men doing that. And then when they see the business card, that really fucks them up because they're like, damn, how many how many business cards do you have? And how many women are you giving it to? Every woman I see that I'm interested in, I'm giving it to. Oh, so what? Are you a ladies man? You a player? You a smooth? Well, shit. I don't, you, hey, that's up for you to decide. I'm just being me. But see, what I'm doing, O'Shea, is I'm not bullshitting with her. Because at the end of the day, O'Shea, I don't want to waste my time sitting around playing footsies with a motherfucking woman when I can go smash something else. 
Mm-hmm. Let me let me read uh, Clay Pro's uh, a super chat. He goes, Steve, do you have any advice on how to be a good husband? Yeah, how to be and a good he, husband? You got to be a good man first. So learn how to be a man first, then you'll be a better husband. Okay, all right. Shout out to um, now, but he and we have some ladies in the chat more often. Okay, remember, me and Steve started collaborating in 2017. You guys remember that? That was the year of the infamous alpha male strategies debacle happened almost two years ago to this date. That was hilarious. So me and Steve have been doing shows. We took a year off because uh, Steve was acting light-skinned. But anyway, he's cool now. Um, look at this right here. We have a young lady, but he, that is really her, uh, Steve. Okay, what did she um, say? It got to it 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 be pick me women who deal with this I could never. Oh, wait, wait, we wait, got, wait, a, we wait, got wait, another wait, chick wait. who got a nice booty going to give me some ass. Wait, wait, wait. With all due respect, who gives a fuck what you think? I, I don't mean to be rude, but... You know what? You do deal with this, and you don't want to. You don't want to admit that shit. But I bet you this much: if you went in the bathroom, turned off your light, and got a blue light, and looked at all those cum war wounds that you have all over your body, I bet you they from an asshole like me, because you know goddamn well you ain't fucking with no fuck boy whose pussy is tighter than yours. See, this is the thing I love about women that that say this shit. <laughs> Women like this always want to talk about, no, no, not, I, I'm not that kind of girl. I would never mess with a guy like that. You stop fucking lying. You know your pussy is wet than a motherfucker, and you slid over to the computer to type the shit I said. You want to know why? Because you ain't used to a motherfucker that will check your motherfucking ass at the door. Now, I am going to be nice to you. How you doing, lady? But other than that, man, go, go, go off with that silly ass shit you saying. You know you could. Don't be look, don't lie on your pussy, girl. Don't lie. Shit. I'm not trying to be real and being real, man. Now that fuck shit. I, I I would never. You know damn well if one of these guys in chat room was like, well, hey, I'd like to take you out and put you on a rowboat and, and spin you. You're like, I don't want that nigga like that. I don't want no man like that. You goddamn lying ass motherfucker. I'm sorry, OJ. I'm celibate, so it doesn't oh, apply to me again. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, so you're one of them. So you've been fucking your pussy off since you were about, what, 15, 16, 17. Your pussy looked like chewed up meat. Now all of a sudden, you want to go ahead and pick, compact that shit back together. And you... Wait, did he freeze up? Wearing your goddamn booty ass shorts, going to the club, shaking your motherfucking ass and then you're gonna have your pray to jesus moment tomorrow don't give me that i'm celibate but guess what you might be celibate but your mouth and your pussy ain't celibate <laughs> come on man stop that shit oh my god bro well, i to be me but but o'shea this is why <laughs> no, no o'shea this is why i tell guys this is how you got to treat them talk and I'm not being rude or disrespectful. I'm just being 100. I'm not, listen, I'm not going to sit there and say, well, oh, she's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. What am I going to say to her? I don't, I got to walk on eggshells. No, mother, fuck that. I'm crushing the eggshells. I'm sorry, though. Go ahead. Uh, my brother, tell the clay pro. Someone would like to be changed. Remember the, the fine ones have options too, but let me, let me look at this. No, but that's, can I say something that real quick? Can I say what he said real quick? Yes. Some, some women, some women like to be chased. Well, guess what? I chased her by approaching her. So we already done with the chase. I've already chased her. The zebra is not going to jump in the lion's mouth, guys. I chased her by walking up to her and gracing her with me. So the chase is over with. I bit her neck, and I'm going to see if I can take her ass up the tree. All right, go ahead, man. Uh, Shout out to this particular young lady. The game changed the day that first woman crushed your little feelings. You know what? Yes, you hey, yeah, you know, I'm gonna tell you why I agree with her. I'm gonna tell you why I agree with her. Because when I my when I was 13 and I had a 24 year old my first piece of pussy, uh yeah. Let me let me explain what that I I, I don't know what she means by that. Let me tell you something. The first, the first the first crush to a, a young boy is gonna do one or two things, O'Shea. It's gonna put him on two path roads. It's gonna put him on one where he's saying never again. Well, I allow a woman to get that close enough to me to hurt me, or he's going to say, I'm always going to walk on eggshells and be worried about women doing that to me. So I agree in what she's saying, but 
those are the pathways that, that a lot of young men take. When they get crushed for the first time, they either run from it or as a man, you accept that shit and realize that's just part of the game. You're going to get hurt. Every man has to get hurt one time in his life. That's how it is. You're going to have to go through some kind of a hurt to get a taste of what you'll never get again. Okay, let me let me oh, uh, do this. Shout oh, out to oh, Young you know, Link. I go back to, oh, wait, you couldn't even smell my dirty underwear. Bitch, why do you have dirty underwear? Why does that <laughs> Why, why, wait, wait, hold on, no, wait, wait, see that, wait, wait, hold on, dog, no, hold on, dog, hold on, come on, let's talk for it. Let me talk to you for a second. First, let me talk to you for a second. See, the reason why I'm not, the reason why I went fuck with you, because you are a walking goddamn lie. You know that hair ain't your motherfucking hair. You goddamn know that hair ain't yours, goddamn it. And I'm not trying to be mean to your motherfucking ass. But see, this is the problem with y'all brothers. Y'all mess with someone like that. And soon as she take her fucking skull cap off and got little pieces of hair coming out, she said, hey, blah, blah, blah. y'all like, oh, shit, what the fuck I get into? No, let me tell you something. I ain't trying to smell y'all dirty underwear, bitch. You need to clean your dirty underwear. Why would I want to smell your dirty underwear? That's not a fetish of mine. Um, plus, he's a sugar daddy age. Wait a second. Let me tell you something. I don't listen. I, I'm, I'm not ashamed of being old. You got to understand something, baby girl. The difference between you and me is that I can always pull a 19, 20, 21-year-old tight body woman. Baby, your metabolism is slowing down. Your eggs are drying up. You cannot damn near produce a baby in a few uh, goddamn years. So you ain't got shit to offer. Don't give me no next. Clean your motherfucking ass up. Go find your daddy because I can see daddy issues in you. Look at you, daddy issues. Daddy didn't either didn't push you on a swing or Uncle Johnny touched you in a way that was inappropriate. And look at your ass right now. You're celibate. You know you've been giving up the pussy. You damn near look like you're 40 years old and you ain't got no husband. What the fuck? Why would I want, why would I want a old kicker when I can draft one in college that I got more mileage with? Now, just lift up your pussy and look at that speedometer. You cannot change the zeros on that pussy. And I'm not trying to be mean. This is not mean. Y'all y'all laugh. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just, I'm just telling her, look, baby, I'm going to tell look, 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 baby. You can say whatever you want. It's none of my business. But you are not even worth my time. And I'm not, I look, I don't even want your time. You, you, hey, look, you came here. I didn't come to you, baby. So don't get mad at me. Just go get some weed. Hey, go get a sucker and tell them to buy you some new weed, girl. Get that, get that shit with the, the red line in it. That'll, that'll go good with that fake ass nails and eyes you got, girl. Shout out to my man Mike Larry, man. 389. Yo, my boy, man. Go subscribe to my man Z Man out of Canada, man. That's my brother right there, man. He doing big. Let me go uh, put this thing up in here, man. He's uh he loves he, he loves these dating shows, man, with Steve and what's up, big Mike. <laughs> Everybody, everybody used to watch our shit, man. Side Netter, everybody was watching our shit. Shout out to my man Z, man. Go subscribe to him. And Chris Jones, everybody watch with me and Steve do shows, man. So shout out. Uh, but, you know, yeah. but, but you know what, O'Shea? That would be intimidating to the regular guy. The regular guy would put up with that type of fucking disrespected bullshit that's coming out of her motherfucking mouth. What she should be asking is, what pot and what pan should I be using to cook you a fucking meal? And let me shut the fuck up and do what you need to do. But they ain't they ain't strong enough to say that shit, O'Shea. Fuck you talking about. Oh man, it's a call-in show. Actually, no, I got a I I I well Steve, you 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 got another show tonight or what? Uh not tonight. I should be shit. Uh I, I'm free for another let me see. Uh like later on tonight. Uh, late, you be free again? Late, late, late tonight. Yeah, I should be. I, I'll let you know. Yeah. All right, all right. So guys, if you guys want me and Steve to do a call in. Later on tonight, we we, we can because I gotta uh, I gotta I gotta meet up with some friends. But um, shout out to Z Man, man. <laughs> Z Man, how you doing, man? That, that was Steve. That, that was some you know that was some classic ass exchange. Right? <laughs> that, well, I mean, wait, I'm not trying to be funny. See, this y'all problem. Y'all give too much power to these motherfuckers that bleed once a month. Why do you, why do I have to submit and kiss her ass? Who the fuck is she? She is no different than that bitch I see in the grocery store, that motherfucker I see on the street, and the motherfucker I see in the club. She ain't special. Why do y'all make her special? You know what makes y'all special? Y'all thirst. Stop thirsting after these motherfuckers. 
Shout out to my boy BB Thomas, man. Oh shit, shit my man. man. Shit. Z man, I see your ethic. Man, we got it. We got a collab, brother Z man. Shout out to my boy, man. It's good to see my brother BP Thomas out there doing that trucking. Oh my goodness, man. We are back. You know me. Oh shit. Look what she says, Steve. I ain't scared of no old man on the computer. Baby, 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 baby. You don't have to be scared of an old man on a motherfucking computer. Baby, I told you I'm 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 not ashamed of how old I am. Do you think those little silly ass emotional fucking PMS words that are coming out of your pussy bother me? No, bitch. I'm good. Look, guess what? The thing about you calling me old, here's the newsletter, baby. You're going to get old if you ain't old right now, girl. We all going to get old. So what's your fucking point? The difference is, is that I can still get bitches that are younger than you. That's the difference. So why don't you take your old celibate ass, go and get a bunch of cats, go to fucking church and pretend that you a good wholesome woman. But hey, all I want you to do is go in the bathroom, turn on the lights, turn on the blue thing and give us a selfie so we can see all the dents of Thomas, Ray Ray, Boom Boom, Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky and Mike. If I like the girl, who cares? You know what I mean? So I'm just <laughs> Man, girl, stop. Hey, hey, you see, hey, guys, you know what I'm doing? I got that bitch already intrigued. You know why? Because she ain't ever been talked to that way. Look, she cannot stop not only messaging, but thinking about me. That's how easy it works, girl. I know your pussy's wet. It's all good, bro. It's all good. I don't want, hey, look, I don't, I don't want your nappy pussy, but it's all good. Sister George says, I hate him. Oh, exactly. I know she hates me. That's the thing. See, that's the point. She hates me. You know what's going to happen? She's going to get off this show and she's going to call her fucking goof boy, uh, uh, her roster of guys. And hey, you won't believe this. This guy said that I was old and my pussy looked like chewed up meat and all this other stuff. And you know what the cupcakes going to do? What you think they're going to do, dog? They're going to water the seed and give it sunlight. Oh, he's an asshole. He's an asshole. Why? Why you want to listen to him? But you know what? She can't stop thinking about me, though. See that shit, guys? I ain't thinking about her motherfucking ass. You can never have a woman like me. A woman like, I don't even know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like you, bitch? I don't know you. Wait a second. <laughs> Hold on. How, how, how can I like you when I don't know you? What part of did I tell you I don't want you? Don't you understand? Why? Because I like women with natural hair. I don't like fake ass women because if you are so insecure in yourself where you can't show the natural beauty of what you got and you got to augment your face and your goddamn hair with <laughs> horse hair, then let me tell you something. You ain't for me, baby. So listen, I don't need to like you because I don't want to know you. So we're good. Shit, the fuck she talking about, O'Shea? But see, oh, O'Shea, but you know what? I bet you she's going to hit me up on the back end. <laughs> Why are you so mean to me? <laughs> oh, man. Nah, but they, I'm trying to tell these guys, y'all play, play too nice in the sandbox. You are allowed to defend your castle. You are allowed to check a motherfucker at the door. Somebody has told them they can't, O'Shea. You are allowed to, and O'Shea, I don't feel like I'm being mean and rude. I'm not, I'm not being disrespectful. I'm just telling them what the fuck is. Can never have Oh, one. man. Shout out fuck to Clay Pro. Like he says, hey, Steve, most of your advice is on point, but always remember, a great teacher never stops learning. The he is yeah. ideology is an example of a woman's. Well, wait, okay, but you're right. But understand <laughs> this. And, and listen, you say, you say, uh, voice on point. Remember, great teacher never stops learning. Exactly. I'm, I still learn. I, 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 I'm always learning and I've never stopped learning. But what I'm trying to tell you guys is that they have been learning before us. That's what y'all don't want to accept. While we were playing with our fucking action figures or video games or whatever we were doing. They were already studying us as youngsters and they know more. That's all I'm saying. I don't mean to say they're smarter than us as far as intelligence. Mm -hmm. I mean the dating game. I, 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 Clay Pro, I'm going to say as far as the dating game goes, they know more than most men as far as the dating game goes. All right. So this is what we'll do, man. I got uh, to, to, to Steve. 
I can see we getting our chemistry back again, man. You, you, you know, I'm alley ooping them and you, you dunking them like, uh, you know, five jamma slamma. So it's good to be back working with the D, well, I, man. I, I, I got I'm, a lot of new subscribers over here. So guys, make sure you guys, how many of you guys like Steve the Dean back on my channel? I know you guys, some of you guys hate him, but how many of you guys miss the sheer impact of Steve on these live streams, man? He's hilarious, right? I'm not how sure. many people love Steve the Dean on my channel? Me and Steve doing shows. Press five. Let's see what they will be getting, Steve. Uh, how many of you guys hate Steve the Dean? Press yes. four. Yes, press four to hate me. I, how many of you guys it. love to see me and Steve do shows? Press five. I appreciate the likes, but the haters mean more to me because it tells me I'm doing something right. That's I, I love the haters, so I, I hate press four, mother. Hey, 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 where that bitch at? Hey, bitch, press four. Press four, <laughs> press four, press four, 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 four. And look, the man mindset at gmail.com. I know you want to send me selfies and pussy pictures and shit of your celibate pussy, but I'm letting you know I am not interested, okay? So you don't need to you don't need to follow a bitch plus four. <laughs> no, four 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 four. She doesn't need to follow me. She doesn't need to go because I know she's gonna do that. That's what they do, dog. That's what y'all understand. They say they hate you, but they fucking love you because they can't figure out why it is my pussy ain't got enough power. Do I gotta change the batteries in my pussy to get a guy like that to like me? Nah, man, stop that. She said, Hey, bitch, press four, four. Yeah, press four, 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 girl. Come on. He said, hey, bitch, press four. You got my permission, baby. Press four, 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 dog. Go ahead. Show oh, me. my God. We only had two people press four, so. Yeah, well, I'm just. Oh, saying, my God. That shit was four. hilarious. What up, BP? Man, it's good to see my brothers, man. So, guys, I hope that, you know, I'm trying to give more content. Uh, You know, I know you guys love the dating shows. You guys love. uh. So, if you guys have topics, you know, ideas, email me at planetoshay at gmail.com. Questions. Maybe we and Steve can do, like, a show like that. Yeah. Yeah. You guys have questions. We can answer them. We're going to do the call in for you guys. So we do thank you, right? We we, we really don't like you niggas like that, but uh, it's, uh, you know, if don't nobody do these shows for you, uh, you, 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 you niggas, nobody else is going to do it. So unfortunately, um, it's left up to me. I was telling Steve a little bit earlier. I said, man, I had a chance to leave black YouTube about a year ago, but I'm still here stuck with these niggas. No, you're good. This, this is your uh, this is your thing, man. And yeah, you got yeah. great listeners, and you know you got bitches too. Yeah, I mean, you know, old girl, you know, you got bitches. In <laughs> but but what's good is is that when you guys can start to adapt the attitude that I have, it's a whole new world because you are in a top position. Stop giving these bitches the fear, man. It's like they, you know, her silly ass clown ass. Is in the damn sewer. Hi, Steve. <laughs> you you can't like a guy. You can't get a woman like me. <laughs> and what? What did I do, dog? Ain't no fear. That bitch is that bitch is getting scrawnier and scrawnier until she's just gonna be nothing but a hairpiece on the fucking ground because she ain't shit to me, dog. She can't even fucking give a, hold a coattail to my motherfucking world. She ain't even worth me even. Look, look, the only reason I'm showing you what I'm showing you is because usually I'd be done with that bitch. Man, that bitch ain't got nothing, nothing, nothing to offer me. What can she offer me? She can't even offer no good pussy. Talking about I'm saying when they say they celibate, that means they're trying to put their pussy back together like chewed up meat. Don't give me that celibate shit. Your, your teeth are all moved over for dick marks. You got marks all over your skin. Your pussy's all chewed up. Your titties are flattening out. You know your metabolism slowing down. So why would I even consider even giving you an ounce of my time? Now we're on the show now, O'Shea. But outside of a show, baby girl, no, nah, man, you, man, you gotta, man, you gotta take that shit to them thirsty motherfuckers. You can't do that shit here. I see O'Shea's texting. No, 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 no. I'm putting up a picture, y'all, so y'all can roast me. Will get put in the video, guys. If you want to roast me, um, I'm putting a picture up of myself. Uh, so basically, yeah. I mean, my goodness, man. I, I'll do that. I put up a picture of myself, so you niggas get to roast me, man. Best a hundred pics, uh, best comments. Who get to roast me? Uh, roast me. Best one hundred comments. We'll go in the video. 
<sighs> yeah, real nigga shit. So, yeah. guys, look, I got to get the, the call-in show. Me and Steve will do it later on tonight. Around, I don't know, whenever Steve hits me up. So you guys can call in and all of that shit. Thank you guys for all the support. Thank you, Ian, J.K. Po for the 29. Um, it was a very informative show, man. He did drop some game on you niggas. He dropped some gang. So, Steve, go ahead and tell them where they can find you at, brother. You guys, just go to the manmindset.com, guys. Um, uh, we got the Halloween game set up for you guys. And don't forget, the end of October, uh, we're going to give you all an option. Um, uh, we're going to give you an option of going to a swinger club with the costume or a club. So we're going to do all the work. All you got to do is show up and follow that. Uh, I mean, nobody does what we're doing. Nobody's setting up and putting you in a position to get women. Also, we got a dating chat line that has women right there on there right now that want to get their pussies played with. Play with her pussy, exchange information, had a bitch come uh, see you or fly you to her. Uh, last but not least, guys, um, we got a great testimony I just posted in on YouTube of one of my clients who pulled a chick in six days that's taking them to New York, flying them on a plane, set them in a hotel. I will show you nothing but receipts, guys. That's all I do. Regardless of how old I am or what kind of rings I have on my finger, guys, the game has nothing to do with age or marriage. It is something that is either inside of you or on you. And I'm trying to show you that the game's inside of you. That's all I want to say. But thank you, O'Shea. I appreciate this. Shout out to the OG, Doug. Time Derek Ochoel. Hey, you fucking dude. You always type in the same shit. Wait, hold up. Hold up. How the fuck am I going to be? Is my name Steve Odamas? Bitch. Do you think I get, wait a second, hold on. Hum, hum, oh, I finally got your email ill. Yeah, I'm going to be in your box. Yeah, I, no, oh, I just got your address. I'm, oh, I'm about to come over there and hold a, a radio up in, in front of your balcony. Oh, no, no, I'm going to get a, a mariachi band. So I'm going to your motherfucking ass. Like, how the fuck am I going to be in your inbox? Look, hold on, let me say something. <laughs> Give me a second. Only on my channel, dog. Give me a second, yeah. baby, go ahead, go ahead. baby girl, baby, baby, baby. The fact that I'm not gonna be in your inbox is gonna make you just want to go over to the manmindset.com. You've already written down the dot com, and now you're gonna do the research, and now you're gonna go over there and be like, "Who is this nigga?" And that's what you're gonna say. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get with your boy. Look at that. I'm telling you what's gonna happen. The the thing about women when they hate you is not that they hate you because of who you are they hate the fact that they can't control you that's what they hate and this is the antithesis of this how the fuck am i gonna be in here see that shit uh, o'shea who said anything about inboxing well i did say she gonna be in my shit but but my information is posted i don't know you from a, a bowl of cracker jacks bitch so you are gonna be in my motherfucking cake as a hey look look and it's okay. I'm not going to put you out there. Look, you can be a silent subscriber because I know you're going to follow me because I know I got that that juiced up, broken down, beat up ass pussy of yours finally dripping again. And I know you like that shit. But am I going to be in your inbox? Why would I do that? I told you. I do not do fake hair. The fact that you wearing a wig on your head because you know goddamn well you ain't from Africa and that ain't fruits and berries. You know damn well that is not your hair. And the fact that you are ashamed of who you are, I can't fuck with you. So no, I will not be in your inbox. But you know who will be? There are going to be some guys in this room right now. <laughs> hey, hey, baby girl, you're going to get dick pictures. You're going to get motherfuckers to be like, hey, baby, why don't you let me get your number? You're going to have all them motherfuckers that you want. But guess what? You ain't got me, baby girl. Fuck is you mm. talking? God. Oh, my God. You niggas are hilarious, man. All shit. right, man. Look, I, 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 me and Steve going to be back. I got to roll out, man. Guys, it was, <laughs> this was shit was hella funny. <laughs> oh, my God. the fuck am I going to be in her inbox? I don't even know the bitch. And I don't even want to. That's what I'm telling you. I don't need to know her. <laughs> <laughs> but they, you know, them thirsty niggas and be like, yeah, girl, now you know, he fuck Steve. And yeah, girl, let me let me go ahead and uh, get with you, baby. Yeah, because, uh, you know, I think we, you know, I can be together. Let me see that dick pic. And all she going to do is come home to me. That's all she going to do. Oh, man. All right, man. So let me get up out of here.
And uh, peace out, man. Shout out to Steve, the D. Steve and, oh, I just want to say one more thing. And, and wait, wait, wait. What is her fucking name? I can't even pronounce B. Bahia. Bahia. Something like what that. fucking ghetto ass, fucking hood rat ass name is that? You know what, guys? Listen, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you guys one secret. All you guys, listen, listen. Do not send her dick pictures. This is how you gonna get her. Okay, get your crayons out and write this shit down. This is how you get to fuck this one. All you gotta do is bring candy for them raunchy bastard ass kids she got. That's all you gotta do. Bring candy to them little crumb snatcher kids of hers, and you one foot in the door, dog. You good? Because anybody got a name like this, you goddamn know she from some motherfucking hood. Oh, man. All right, man. Let me get up out of here. Shake Steve for coming on, man. We see you niggas later. Peace. Peace. Oh, shit. That shit was funny as shit. <laughs>